Vale, ¿qué me quedaba por hacer? Han arrestado a Santos y está esperando en la sala de interrogatorios número 7 junto con sus artículos confiscados. Vale, eso sería una cosa. Hablar con Santos. Y mirar a ver qué artículos le han confiscado. Y lo siguiente que sería... Ah, mirar las pruebas del caso. Entonces, no sé en qué orden lo voy a hacer. Voy a mirar las pruebas. Voy a quitar el disfraz ya. Estarán en la sala de pruebas, sí. Good night. Your ticket, please, if you want me to help you. Vamos a darle resguardo de pruebas esto. I'd like to check the evidence from this case. And who are you? Oswald sent me. I'm a consulting detective. His partner, then. Let me see. Ah, oh, a ritual murder. What a bunch of degenerates. Wait a second. I'll bring it to the table. Vale, aquí tenemos todas las pruebas. A ver, son nueve. An emergency kit for boredom. Carta de Fabio. La carta que había en la caja de pruebas de Vogel. Está bien de la cabeza. No puede controlar la amargura, al menos no cuando yo estoy cerca. Para mí es demasiado arriesgado ignorar esa clase de comportamiento. Yo puedo estar donde me plazca, o hablar, o jugar con quien me plazca. No soy otra batista. Usted me paga, pero no me ha comprado. Desde luego me quedaré con todas sus generosas donaciones, aunque apenas me compenses por sus terribles estallidos. Uf. No sé si... Si sabrá esto. Estaba en la caja de Vogel. Habrá que preguntarle a Vogel y... Ay, ¿cómo? Ya no me acuerdo cómo se llama el rico. Aunque apenas me compense por tus terribles estallidos, le dejo aunque Matista seguirá con usted. Not the time for privacy. Ahora le preguntaremos a los dos por la carta. Turner's personal sketchbook. A heavily perfumed handkerchief with the initials KM in the corner. It's a miracle this ruby hasn't tempted anyone. All the keys of the mansion on one golden ring. Vale, eso tiene sentido. Si es el dueño de la mansión, tendrá un juego de llaves. A handcrafted charm that contains hair and nail clippings. Elo y uñas. Her key to the altar room. That's not for bedtime reading. This ex libris belongs to Mancio's library. La policía halló este libro de ocultismo en el bolso de Matista durante el arresto. A juzgar por el ex libris pertenece a la colección de Mancio's. Mancio's es el que el dueño. Contiene ilustraciones y descripciones de un ritual similar al del escenario del crimen. Prepara el cuerpo desnudo del objeto de interés recientemente fallecido. Dibuja símbolos de Marte y Venus. Sí, exacto. Estaban esos símbolos en la pared. Para amplificar el poder que posees para usar la fuerza de la naturaleza masculina y femenina. Atraviesale el corazón con una daga de oro para librarte de la sangre que no te ama. Dibuja un símbolo representando tu amor. Mientras esperas la resolución, recita el cántico. Vale. The book describes a ritual similar to the one performed in the altar room. Thank you, officer. Vale, ahora tenemos... Aquí. Yo creo ahora que es Matista. Viendo esto, solo con ver el libro ya. Si ella ha seguido el ritual... A ver, me imagino que ella estaba enamorada de Fabio. Y entonces siguió este este ritual para intentar que él se enamorara de ella. Obviamente el ritual es absurdo porque hay que matar a la persona antes y luego resucitarla. Ha sido ella. Vale, vamos a hablar de la carta primero. Tendremos que hablar con Vogel 
y tendríamos que hablar también con manchios. A ver, Fabio estaba al final. Fabio no, eh, Vogel estaba al final. Carta de Fabio. So, the police found a letter from Fabio in your pocket. I cannot tell if it was truly in my pocket at all. Perhaps it was placed there later. Well, that is one hypothesis. If it were true, then how did it get there? No clue. But this night has been rather eccentric. Such a detail could have easily eluded me. Indeed. Do you recall reading it? I can't remember that either. But I tend to respect privacy. Reading others' personal notes is not one of my perversities. Vale, vamos a intentar. Uf, aquí hay varias cosas. Carta de enfado de Fabio con. Con Pancho sentía algo por Fabio. No. Vogel está detenido por la carta. Tampoco. Vale, el resto no, no creo que, que sea. Este no creo que pueda enlazarlo con... Vale, vamos a enlazar. Pinchetti es el mayordomo. Ah, no, ya lo había intentado. No veo que, que pueda enlazar nada. Vale, vamos a hablar con Manchios. ¿Dónde estaba? Aquí. Y le voy a dar también la carta. I read this letter from Fabio. It had no addressee, but it was found in Mr. Vogel's pocket. Werner? Strange. I didn't think the two of them corresponded. I'm sure there is some explanation. Would you care to read it? Call me superstitious, but I don't care to read a letter from a dead man. No sabré cómo llegó a su bolsillo la carta de Fabio. No la había leído. Y... Ay, le puedo seguir enseñando algo más. ¿Qué más? Ah, el libro, claro, que el libro es suyo. Es de su biblioteca. Do you recognize this book? Could Matista have borrowed it from your library? She didn't ask me. How ungrateful. The things described in the book were inspiration for the rituals you performed? Do you really believe that blood, symbols, and incantations can resurrect the dead? They are just eerie tales with a mix of occultism and voodoo. My rituals are a stage to show some of the forbidden pleasures. Pues la única a la que le puedo preguntar por el libro es a Matista también. A ver, ¿de dónde? ¿Para qué usaste el libro? ¿Para qué lo querías? This book, The Power of Love, Blood and Mandrake, what do you hope to achieve? To learn more about the invisible strengths that govern us. Occultism is real. The master who fell that night when Fabio and I escaped, I made him fall. I cast a spell on him and it worked. Or was it a coincidence? The universe is really so lazy. If you say so. Mm, le puedo preguntar algo más. La carta. This is the letter the police found in Mr. Vogel's pocket. Fabio wrote it. Do you know anything about it? I don't. Although I can feel Fabio's energy. It's there, but it refuses to let me analyze it. Do you practice occult rituals? For protection? For fortune? To wash away the ugliness of the world? Sometimes to survive. I have the gift, and I'm learning to use it better. Did you use your gift on Fabio? I only used white magic. 
Love charms lately. Fabio became so distant. I just wanted him to be with me, but I suppose I'm not as skilled as I thought. Dice que usa magia blanca, pero este libro de magia blanca nada. Vale, tengo que interrogar a Santos. Calabozo 7. Aquí. Y mirar sus cosas. I recognize the key from the altar room among these. Vale, él tenía llave, pero eso ya lo sabíamos. Testamento y nota de Carl Manchos. Una breve nota adjunta al testamento dice Santos, guapo optimista. Me has rogado que te incluya en el testamento y eso he hecho. Esta es mi última revisión. El texto de este, del testamento bajo la nota. Santos Pinchetti, el mayordomo de la mansión Manchos. Recibe un tarro de cera de bigote y una lámpara de sal para que siempre recuerde a su atento empleador Cort Mancho. Vale. Eh, vamos, estaba riendo de él a base de bien, ¿eh? Poco cabronazo. Vale, vamos a hablar con él. Mr. Pinchetti, a pleasure to meet you. I'm Sherlock Holmes. I'm helping Constable Oswald. I've already told him everything I know. I'm only a witness, sir. Everything's in my report. And I've read it. You forgot to mention that you hold the keys to the room where Fabio was found. I need only to find if the crime was intentional. But I need to return to my duties. I doubt the house will fall without you, Mr. Pinchetti. Just be still for a few seconds. Remendado menudo. Piel inflamada, psoriasis o alergia. Prendas teñidas, teñidas más de una vez. Uf, este tío no tenía dinero, eh. No tenía dinero y encima lo que le deja en la herencia es un bote de... Un bote para el bigote, dice. Salpicadura de sangre, pisó sangre. Vale, pero él descubrió el cadáver, eh. Yo creo que tiene dificultades económicas. No creo que sea tacaño. You are the major domo of a rich mansion and you seem barely able to afford decent clothing. You hide under heavy makeup a skin disease that might be treated with more onerous but less harmful means. Do you have money troubles? I do not have a lot of means. The pay is below what you might expect, but you could easily change your job if your employer does not meet your elementary needs. One can change his employer, that is true. And the blood on your shoe, where does that come from? I don't actually know. Perhaps from a guest? Did you know Fabio? Uh, not personally. He was a frequent guest, and cleaning the mess after his performances was tedious. Mr. Manchios always had a role for him, and mainly the leading one. The parties were always um, Fabio-centric. And Matista? Was she as popular as her partner? Don't tell her I said this, but I do not think so. Mr. Manchios hired her only because Fabio refused to work without her. Mr. Manchios used to see her as a worker. She was tasked with entertaining the guests, unlike Fabio, who could pick and choose. A ver, ¿qué pistas le puedo enseñar a este? El testamento. Mr. Manchios says that you begged him to be included in the heritage. Isn't that a little extreme, even for a major domo? He's not only my employer, he's my uncle. And I'm his next of kin. The only one. Mr. Manchios flatly refuses to pay a family member. All I have to do is repay his so-called love. Cleaning up the filth after perverts and decadence. He's imprisoned me. The best I can hope for is a new broom. That's why I wanted to have my part of the inheritance. Is it that bad? You have a roof above your head, a salary, and the status of a major domo. For God's sake. I'm forced to die and stitch my threadbare clothes, and the holes in my shoes are painful. I'm ashamed every time a guest looks at me closely. 
Why do you think your uncle treats you this way? My mother, my uncle's sister, had me illegitimately. She died and I was given the surname of one of the maids. But you are entitled to some of the money that belongs to your family. He thinks not. I was not responsible for my mother's death. I work hard and he pays me nothing. I feed on the leftovers. While he wastes our estate's property on decadent parties, he paid Fabio handsomely and showered him with expensive gifts for their disgusting relationship. Bueno, ahí hay otro móvil. Pero no lo creo, eh. Chetti se vio obligado a trabajar para Manchos con la vana esperanza de que le dejara la herencia, pero no lo hizo. Bueno, todavía queda tiempo. No está muerto todavía. Sangre en el zapato con que avisó a la policía porque él descubrió el cadáver. Sí. Santos Pinchetti pudo haber pisado la sangre al descubrir el escenario del crimen, sí. Pero puedo enlazarlo con otra cosa más. Batista pudo haber usado un ritual con Fabio para recuperar su amor. Y yo creo que eso fue lo que pasó. Puede ser sangre con el asesino se aseó. Sí. Aquí hay dos opciones. Ya veremos después. Según Santos Pinchetti, y a juzgar por el contenido de la carta, podría haber estado dirigida a Kurt Mancho. Sí, perfectamente. Ya está, ahora. Ahora habría que hablar el testamento. Bueno, si he hablado con este... Volver a hablar con... A ver, hablaré sobre el testamento otra vez. I've read the letter about your will. A harsh method of ridiculing Santos. I doubt he will use mustache wax when he wears no mustache to begin with. Where did you get it? Is the slug here? Tell him. I shouldn't have to provide for him. He's a grown man who shouldn't sit on his uncle's neck. He conceives himself as my only heir. And who is he to you? He's a leech on my aging body. He has only added problems to my life since the death of his mother. I fail to see why you made him your major domo. He needed to know his place, so I taught him. Vale, otra cosa más. Le puedo preguntar algo más. La carta de Fabio. There is undeniable evidence that you were the original recipient of this letter. What are you talking about? Is it addressed to me? Your protege wanted a fresh start, it seems. This is sufficient to charge you. Me? Hurt my star? Are you insane that you would accuse me of such a thing? He did not consider himself as yours. Since you deny everything, let's move on. Do you have any idea as to how the letter could have ended up in Mr. Vogel's pocket? You were the detective. Perhaps he took it from Fabio. Werner was a little high. Mancho niega cualquier relación con la carta y afirma que Vogel se la quitó a Fabio. Podría ser. 
Pero tengo que preguntarle por la carta a alguien. Si no es Vogel, que creo que no. O sí. Pues entonces sí. Tengo que preguntarle por la carta. I have reason to believe that the intended recipient of the incriminating letter may have been Kurt Manchos. Well, that makes sense. Too bad I can't remember how I came to possess it. Though I did spend quite some time with Mr. Manchios during the party. Unfortunately, even with an answer, that may still not be enough to clear you with the police. But fear not. I will persevere. I hope your attempt to put things straight will make up for you being on a bender. Touché. Sigo teniendo que preguntar a alguien sobre la carta, pero tenemos algo nuevo aquí. Kurt Manchos dice que Werner Vogel se guardó la carta, pero Vogel no recuerda haberlo hecho, así que claro, uno o el otro miente. No tiene por qué haber mentido, a ver, podría ser una tercera persona el que le haya guardado la carta a él en el bolsillo. Aquí solo te da dos opciones. Uno de los dos miente. Tengo que seguir preguntando sobre la carta, pero ¿a quién? A ella. Could Fabio have written this letter to Kurt Manchos? Oh, that could be. I never thought Mr. Manchios could make Fabio that angry, though. What do you mean? Well, Fabio wanted to disassociate from Mr. Manchios. Clients who are in love are both a blessing and a curse. But Fabio was here tonight. Money. In our line of work, we can't afford to turn down clients who pay as well as Kurt Manchios. Was Fabio afraid of Mr. Manchios? Not at all. The old toad wouldn't dare to do more than sweet talk and touching. Talk can be forgotten. And touching washed away. Fabio quería cortar la relación con el señor Manchios. Vamos a preguntarle a él sobre eso. I can't wrap my head no. around such a tragedy at my party. The air here is rather refreshing. I'd even recommend that some of my friends visit the place. Please let me out. Pues no. A ella otra vez? No creo. I know I can handle the news. Pues entonces lo único que me queda por preguntar o por darle información es aquí al policía. Vamos a darle la carta al policía. This letter proves nothing. Fabio wrote it to Mr. Manchios. It's time to free Mr. Vogel. Do you really think I'm that naive? I need proof, not words from his friend. Very well. Mr. Pinchetti told me that Mr. Manchios was lavishing Fabio with expensive and eccentric gifts. The letter mentions rich rewards and attempts to buy Fabio with them. It was written to Mr. Manchios. Who else was showering Fabio with luxuries to buy him? It doesn't fit Mr. Vogel's character. Look here. We had a deal. Give me the murderer and then take your friend with you. I won't budge otherwise. Well, fine, but you're just wasting time. Ahora sí. Fabio hizo añicos los sentimientos de Cormanchos. Yo sigo pensando que fue Matista. Vamos a pensar. Pff, es que. Es que según la escena del crimen, está todo igual que el libro que tenía ella. El ritual improvisado fue un intento desesperado de encubrir el crimen. Eh. No sé yo. 
escenificó el crimen como un ritual para inculpar a Matista. Le metió la carta a Vogel en el bolsillo para evitar levantar sospechas. Es que podría ser perfectamente. ¿Y cómo sabía él que ella tenía el libro? Fue ella o no. Lo que no entiendo es que hay pruebas que no tienen que ver. La única, lo único, A ver esta, es que las únicas pruebas que tienen que ver con todo. esta no sé cuál decir que fue ella, es que yo creo que fue ella. Asesinato ocultista, vamos a probar. Matisa usa el ocultismo como un modo de vengarse por su miserable vida. Apuñaló a Fabio para que permaneciera cerca de ella. Hay que hacer la parga por sus actos. Vamos a ver si es verdad. Matista, you killed Fabio during the ritual. What? No. I could never. You knocked out Fabio with a bottle. You locked the door and placed him on the altar. You cast spells and pushed a blade between his ribs. The blood from his wound was used to draw symbols across his body and the room itself. You wanted to use your gift to resurrect him, but he failed to wake up. So you cleaned yourself up and left the room realizing the full scale of what you'd done. That's just wrong. I didn't do it. You didn't see what happened. Then tell me, what did happen? I don't know. I wasn't there. You weren't either. Mm, a lo mejor me he equivocado. Fabio was a rising star. Cordona already knew of him, and you were not as popular. Your duo was coming to an end. He would have left you, and you were afraid of that. Since you believe in your gift, you thought you could revive him after death. And that time, he would have stayed with you. That is not true. I was afraid of him leaving me, but I would never have hurt him. You were there when Fabio was killed. He fought for his life and inflicted those bruises on your body. 
but you knocked him out eventually. I was with the guests all the time. Manchios ordered me. I can see that life hasn't been kind to you. Since childhood, you have been used and abused. The guests at the Manchios mansion are not that different. And even if you think you are in control, such a life takes a heavy toll regardless. The only good thing you had in your life was Fabio. You were so frightened of losing him that you killed him. I believe your only chance for a normal life is to receive medical help. Psychiatrists will help you. Others have always decided what my life should be. And you're no different, Mr. Holmes. That is your only option, Matista. I'm afraid you can't choose. Uf, no sé si me he equivocado o no, eh. Hay que informar. Sí, tengo que informar al policía. Ay, no, aquí. It was Matista, Fabio's friend. All the evidence points to her. It is sadly the result of her traumatic past. She requires medical help. There can be no good in executing a person who has such an illness. She doesn't look sick to me. That's why the professionals should handle it. I suppose you're right. It's still good enough for my promotion. As for my part, not everything was in place. Perhaps some documents were transferred somewhere else, but I couldn't find a trace of them. Then I remembered the discarded document drawers where we put the lost papers or the badly labelled ones. Including the crime scene report of Violet Holmes's case. Everything I've found is on the desk here. Take it. Your persistence has saved me. Yeah, well, we had a deal after all. Your friend is free then. You can leave. Good luck, Constable. Vale, caso completado. No sé si correctamente o no. Eh, al llegar, los agentes encontraron a la fallecida identificada como la señora Violet Holmes tendida en el jardín de la mansión Stone. Un examen visual indicó que la víctima se estaba, estaba completamente empapada. Una profunda incisión vertical de unos 5 centímetros de longitud a lo largo de la garganta. Tenía el rostro hinchado y cubierto de manchas rojas. Causa probable de la muerte, hipoxia. En espera de la confirmación del forense. El sospechoso principal, Otto Richter, quedó arrestado. Se le está practicando la autopsia al cadáver. garden. There's a garden behind our manor. How could I forget? That's where it all happened, where it all went wrong. Sherry, it looks like you've almost found what you wanted. Oh, you did it, Sherlock. The case is closed and all rewards belong to the winner. Bravo. It is merely the triumph of the truth. Is it? No compromises? No lies? You're happy with your decisions? It was the best decision I could obtain. The truth must be told in the way it is most acceptable. You're making progress, Sherlock. I was right to believe in you. By the way, did you get that precious information about your mother? Oh, not that you must. Yes, I did. Forgive my intrusion in such a personal matter. I simply worry I am failing to be of much help to you. Actually, you were. For some reason, all the archives on the case had disappeared. This was a rare opportunity to obtain the impossible. Outrageous. Perhaps someone found the truth unpleasant. Society usually rejects those who speak with too much honesty, doesn't it? A comfortable lie is often preferred to an uncomfortable truth. Still, I believe that the latter should prevail, and I cannot remain silent. That's quixotism at its best. Your mere truth cannot defeat institutions, systems, and power. Etiquette, religion, marriage, they're all lies told to preserve connections, love and sanity, and it's all corruptible. Lies destroy human dignity. How could you make a free decision without any knowledge of the truth? Are we really free to decide anything in this world, Sherlock?
Oh, yes. It's a struggle, but yes, we can make our own decisions. That's what I fight for. And what an endless fight it is. Will you ever give yourself a break, Sherlock? You're a walking contradiction, Sherlock. You refuse to lie to others, but constantly lie to yourself. How long until the train comes off the track? I cannot look away, but perhaps I should take a few steps back. You're an accident waiting to happen, dear. Until then, I shall bid you adieu. Vale, y ahora queda volver a la mansión y la puerta que estaba cerrada ahora mismo estará despejada, supongo, esa puerta estará despejada ahora. Ah, también me faltaba comprar nuevos muebles, ¿no? Sí. Nice affordable. Come, clothes. come. Marhaba. It's a good day for a purchase. Taga ritual maya. Invoca un dragón o el fin del mundo. May your purchase. Ahí hay otra. Yes, of Cordona. The treasures await you. Refresh your intent. My goods will brighten up your house. Esqueleto de saurio. Un dinosaurio mejora el feng shui de cualquier habitación. Enjoy your purchase. Sí, aquí hay otro. Parece que ese es el último. No, aquí. The worst clothes. One man. Take a look. Maybe something will catch your eye. Criatura disecada. Un artista de mente la trajo de una ciudad negada. ¿Es una rata mezclada con qué? Una gamba o algo así. Cosa más rara. Retos preservados. Mejor no hacer preguntas. Sí, mejor no hacemos preguntas. El gabinete de curiosidades restaurado. Ah, yo creía que ya estaba restaurado. Y ya no hay más que comprar. Now it looks exactly like it was a decade ago. I can almost feel the memories hitting me. manta pero falta algo más ahí oh I remember now I never liked the way the books were sorted on these shelves that you didn't your brother often struggled to find his reading materials after our visits tomo cambiante durante nuestra estancia en la mansión Stonewood, Sherry y yo visitábamos con regularidad el gabinete de curiosidades. Sherlock a veces se aburría tanto que reordenaba todos los libros en una secuencia particular. Decía que así era más fácil encontrar el libro que uno buscara. Pero Mycroft nunca estuvo de acuerdo. La última vez que Mycroft no pudo encontrar su material de lectura predilecto, nos vilipendió durante una hora e insistió en que dejáramos la estantería como estaba.
some light reading for my spare time. The so-called mummy of a Persian princess. The defrauders did good work, but missed one small detail. It's the mummy of a man. What a monstrosity. Where could such a creature even survive? Oh, I remember these. We used them to spar together until Mycroft found out and forbade us from using real weapons. No sé por qué sigue esto. Ah, vale, vale, porque estamos en la otra ya. Ese caso está hecho. Solo quedaría... A no ser que encontráramos algún caso secundario perdido por ahí. Quedaría la Isla del Tesoro etapa 1 o 2 y no sé cuántas etapas tiene esto, pero... Ese no lo voy a hacer. Así que voy... A salir al patio, a la parte trasera. Sherry, Sherry, please listen to me. Sherry. John, I always listen to you. You don't have to do this. You don't have to go through. I don't know what is beyond this door, but I can feel it. Buzzing, angry, like a fly at the window. I know. I can sense it too. You locked away this memory for a reason. There is only pain here. Pain? And truth? You do not need to suffer either. There is so much more we can do on Cordona. So many others we can help. There is no coming back from this. Vale, esto es ya. Si sigo, si, si voy al al patio, termina el juego. Así que esto me está preguntando si quiero terminarlo o no. John, my animal, my brother, there is nothing more important in this moment than this truth. I know you fear for me, but my path was set long ago. I can no more step off it than I can ask the avalanche to roll back uphill. Just... Please be careful, Sherry. I love you. Quite. Come on. We'll go together. La puerta del jardín está por fin abierta y las respuestas a todas mis preguntas me aguardan. Why didn't I remember we had such a big garden? Maybe you forgot it for your own good. Ah yes, the statue of Merope. My mother was trying to restore it. Pity she never had the opportunity to finish. Aquí nada. Junto a John he visto algo. Hay algo que examinar. Ay, ay, al final está la madre. Is that the raft we made together, John? Looks more like a pile of rotten planks now. Tiene que haber algo que mirar. That's from my favorite tea set. What is it doing in here? Estaban discutiendo por algo. 
these must help calm her down. Té y tranquilizantes. Mezclaron ellos té más tranquilizantes. Ya verás a que fue culpa de Sherlock en la muerte de la madre. Voy a poner tolerancia aumentada. Se asfixió. Mi madre se asfixió. La herida de la garganta podría ser la humillación final de su asesino o un intento de salvarla. El corte de la garganta de mi madre fue un intento de traqueotomía. No tenía sentido hacer eso si se estaba ahogando. What are you thinking about? Is everything all right? ¿Qué me queda por mirar? What are you thinking about? Is everything all right? Este libro no estaba ahí antes. I remember this artifact from mother's collection. Mother's work journal. I liked poring over the detailed pages and reading about my parents' collection. It informs my mind. No, I have made my decision. She must be sent to a legitimate medical facility. I will not let her hurt Sherlock. What? Master Holmes, you do not understand. That will be all. I expected to have left the house by week's end. Sherry, say something. Can you hear me? You're scaring me. Vale, así es como le llamaba la madre. Por eso John le llama así también. This was for my mother, wasn't it? I remember how we came to the garden for a breath of fresh air. Take me to my flowers, Sherry. They must already be in bloom. As you wish, Mum. I bet you missed the fresh air, didn't you? Terribly. The sun is far brighter than I remember. But I like it. We can walk each day from now on, if you want. That would be wonderful. Just look at them. The stars of the earth. Even the sky must be jealous of their beauty. Indeed. Mother, would you like to go around the water? That would be perfect. I always wanted such a nice pond in London. It looks so peaceful. Mycroft knew you would like it.
We should put some fish in it. Don't you think? How about some carp? That's a nice idea. Let's visit your father's tree. It grows so fast, just like you. We could even build a tree house in it. <laughs> yes, Sherry. Speaking of your father, could you call him out, please? Mom! He's... I'm sorry. He passed away. He's gone. No, he's not. I'm telling the truth. Did you forget again? No. Don't you dare say such things. No. You are a liar like all the others. Mother! Don't call me that. You aren't fooling me. No! You... Mommy hurts! My son would never lie. No. Mom, stop! Who are you? Reveal yourself! Please, stop! It's me, Sherlock! You are not my Sherry! Get me my son back or I'll stop you! ¿Quién le salvó? El médico. Pues no, no sabemos qué pasó. Enfermedad mental. Misterio en el jardín. Sí. Cuando Maycroft descubrió al auto Richard, lo culpó de la muerte de nuestra madre. Mm, a lo mejor no fue él. Mi madre intentó ahogarme en el estanque de la mansión Stone. ¿Qué casos hay? Eh, ¿Alguien asfixió a mi madre por accidente o a propósito? Y la otra opción... Mi madre tuvo una, re una reacción alérgica repetida a su medicación y se asfixió. John es el asesino y yo maté a mi madre. ¿Por qué? Yo soy el responsable de la muerte de mi madre. Fue idea mía darle el medicamento que le causó la reacción alérgica que la mató. Fue culpa mía. Microsoft ocultó la verdad para protegerme. Hmm. John y yo somos culpables. O John es el asesino. Yo maté a mi madre sin saberlo. La idea de darle tranquilizante vino John, lo que significa que no puedo confiar en mi propia mente. Para curarme tengo que librarme de John. Mycroft ocultó la verdad para protegerme. Uf, yo creo que la esta tiene más sentido. Yo no creo que fuera el médico. Creo, yo creo que fue John. Voy a poner que John es el asesino. No podrás modificar tu decisión una vez confirmada. Sí, voy a decir esta. Sherlock. Sherlock. Can you hear me? Come on, wake up. Get off me. Sherry, you knew, and more than that, you hid it from me. You couldn't bear the truth, Sherlock, so I shouldered it for you. I took your pain, your horror. You. It was your idea that 
the sedative, that was you. She was hurting us. Sherry, I... I couldn't bear to see you suffer. So you killed my mother. My worst impulses, my darkest thoughts, they're you. You were a lie, John, a fiction, a crutch. No, I was... I was a friend. Sherlock, please. Sherlock? What? Are you okay? I don't know. I told you not to come, Sherlock. Where is he? Who? Your friend, John. He's beside you. Was all this worth it? Is he worth it? Why, Why is, is he, he here? here? I think, in his own way, he was trying to protect me. From a truth I couldn't bear. But now I must face it. Whoa, 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 Sherry. What are you doing? There is only one way through. Through what? What do you mean? My entire life, my work, my mind has been compromised by a malignant force, by a perversion of rationality. By you, John. You're a tumor. You're a poison. Sherlock. And like a tumor, you must be excised for the health of the patient. No. No, this is the lie, Sherry. I protected you. I am your friend, your brother. You know me. You know me. I was always there for you. When your mother lashed out, I took the hit. When you were alone, I held you. She was sick. I just... She needed to calm down. I... I helped her. You killed her. No. Yes. No. B but it was not meant... Please. Please. I'm scared. ¡Qué gran final! Me ha encantado. Muy bueno. Are you all right? I, I think, uh, on the balance of things, no. That is good news. To be unaffected by today's events would place you in a different pathology entirely. Your time on Cordona is over, Sherlock. Tomorrow we shall board a vessel back to London, and all this... It stays here. He's, he's gone. He's gone, Mycroft. I, I, need, I needed to take control. He, he would help me, but it was... It was a lie, because... because but he's gone. I, kn I knew he was wrong. Do you see? I am free. I just had to act. Yes. In that respect, you are your mother's son. Why are you here? Closure, I suppose. And to help a friend. You and I are not friends. In a race between the thawing of the ice caps and our friendship, I would buy both. 
Ha! Is that right? I can see it now. I know what you did. What did I do? You... You needled me. From the moment we met, you were searching for weakness. You pushed me to pursue the truth about my mother. You questioned everything I did, everything I believed to... to break me. To blur truth and fiction, reality, morality. A saboteur in silk. Was it vengeance, man? Or do you prefer Klaus? Excuse me? You are Klaus Richter, Otto's younger brother. Do you hold me responsible for his end? Ha! There was no love lost between me and my brother. I am sure you can relate. Otto was merely the gravity that pulled me into your orbit. Or you into mine. Once I met you, I could not keep away. Why? What reason do you have for all of this? To help you. You're lying. To show you that you were wrong. More lies. I know you now, Werner. Try again. To see what had happened. Or is that yet another untruth? Does it matter? Take your pick. Who cares? You're my masterpiece. I turned Sisyphus into Ozymandias. You could not see the futility of your quest. Until I helped you to let go of the rock. And now, nothing beside remains. I remain. Despite you, and to spite you. It is a matter of will and power now. Will you overcome this, or shall you decay? Oh, on that note, I brought you something. I want nothing more from you. When one wants for nothing, Sherlock, the best thing to get them is something personal. So, here you are. Now, please excuse me, but the gallery calls. I'm already conceiving my next project. Mmm, qué bueno. Qué bien enlazado está todo. You really are beautiful. I am all right. I returned to London and enrolled at Cambridge University. Their professors leave something to be desired, or perhaps I simply lack the interest in all but a few lectures. I prefer to spend my time at the local hospital pursuing things of practical use. Medical research, chemical tests and the like. Empirical truths. I try not to think about you. I try not to think about anyone unless it is in the course of an investigation. I've started to help people with their menial mysteries. It keeps the mind occupied. I cannot risk otherwise. I'm not like her. I'm not like you. I am all right. I found it! I found it! And what is that? How far, um, bruises may be produced after death? How are you? You have been in uh, Afghanistan, I perceive. How on earth did you know that? Uh, never mind. The, um, the question now is about bruising. No doubt you see the significance of this discovery of mine. Uh, it is interesting, no doubt, but practically... Uh... Why, it is the most practical medico-legal discovery for years. Had we these data sooner, hundreds of men would have paid the penalty for their crimes. Cases oft hinge upon how a man died. Now... We can know which wounds he suffered alive, which occurred post-mortem, and what instrument was responsible. And ergo, one will soon be able to calculate with utmost precision when and where death occurred, sparing the innocent and damning the guilty. Huh. Then you are to be congratulated. Indeed. But uh, uh, you came here on business. <laughs> Correct again. 
I, I am looking for someone with whom to take diggings and heard you were complaining. Ah, uh, what someone? Anyone to go halves with you? I have my eye on a suite in Baker Street, which would suit us down to the ground. You don't mind the smell of strong tobacco, I hope? I smoke ships myself. That's uh, good enough. I get in the dumps at times and don't open my mouth for days on end. Just let me alone and I'll soon be right. What have you to confess now? It's best for two fellows to know what bruises each other carries before they begin to live together. My last companion and I... Well, I object to rouse because my nerves are shaken. And I get up at all sorts of ungodly hours. <laughs> and I am extremely lazy. I have another set of vices when I'm well. But those are the principal ones at present. Do you include violin playing in your category for rouse? <laughs> it depends on the player. A well-played violin is a treat for the gods. A badly played one. Oh, oh, no, that's all right. I think we may consider the thing as settled. Oh, uh, forgive my manners. My attention wavers. Sherlock Holmes. Dr. John Watson. John? <laughs>